Hello everyone, we're on example 5 on page 200 here. Write an equation in slope-intercept form for a perpendicular to y equals negative 3x containing 4, 0. Okay, so notice this is in slope-intercept form. So this is m, the slope of this line. To get a perpendicular line, you have to find the negative reciprocal. So negative three times one third equals negative one. So I know the negative reciprocal is gonna be one third. So M equals one third for the new line. Okay, the line perpendicular to this is gonna have the ne negative reciprocal for a slope. So it's gonna be one third. You're gonna use point slope form first you're going to use this form. So you have y minus 0 equals 1 third times x minus 4. Use the distributive property. 1 third times x is 1 third x. 1 third times 4 is minus 4 thirds. So this is what the book is looking for. It wants you to write it in slope intercept form. Okay, y equals mx plus b. Okay, your next one. Go ahead and do five, the guided practice. Writing equation of a slope in slope intercept form for a line parallel to y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 3. And then containing negative 3, 6. Yep, that looks good. Okay, so then you're containing the point negative 3, 6 and parallel to this. This is sample 5. And then, so M has to be the same since they're parallel. You want the parallel line this time, so you're going to have the same slope, m equals negative 3 fourths. Use your point slope form, y minus 6 equals negative 3 fourths times x minus a negative 3. You get y minus 6 equals, okay, you got to use the distributive property here, negative 3 fourths x. And then negative 3 fourths times 3. Because remember, this becomes a big plus sign. That equals negative 9 fourths. And then add 6 to both sides. Okay, 6 is the same thing as... 24, so I'm adding 6 to both sides here, that's the same thing as 24 over 4, 24 minus 9 is 15, so you get plus 15 fourths. Or you could have 3 and 3 fourths here.